My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. questions. I'm going to give you crazy answers about anything, about cosplay, cats, hamburgers. And I'm a cosplayer and artist. I live in California, originally from New Hampshire. I've been cosplaying since 2011. I started, my first convention was Granite State Comic Con in New Hampshire. It's a small little thing, but it's pretty awesome, close to my heart, special to me. My first cosplay was Baby Doll from Sucker Punch. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> Great introduction, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Colin Bass, uh, I'm brand new to cosplaying. Nicole and I do a lot of conventions together, and I got my- I have my... no idea who this man is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just deal with it, I'm here. And yeah, so I'm gonna be kind of a, an assistant for you guys and uh, just help out with the panel. But if you have any questions for me, feel free by now. Hello. Hello. Um, I, this is for both of you, is there, Anything you want to do, any character you want to play, or any monster you want to play, but think it's impossible to pull off? My answer is always a life-size Gundam, but <laughs> I don't know if I could fit in this building, so that would be kind of weird. Um, maybe a, a smaller scale one, but I have a whole list of characters. You're fired. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I'm going to answer that. Hold on. Um, I have a whole list of different characters that I want to cosplay as. I don't know if some of them will happen or not, but I will cosplay as male characters or female characters or strange creatures. I don't care. If I love it, then I'm going to do it. And for me, uh, I don't know if it's impossible, because maybe someday it could happen, but impossible for me to make it is The Flash from the new TV show. I want to do that one so bad, because that's my favorite show, and I just love the suit and the character. So. I, I don't want to say impossible, but I have no idea where to even begin. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, for, uh, question for the both of you. Uh, uh, about the different, I know you're new to the, you know, the whole uh, cosplay in the world, but you call and the both of you. But, uh, about the different cosplay that you have made, what is your all-time favorite and why is the all-time favorite? My all-time favorite cosplay? Um, they're all special to me. They're all, they're all my all-time favorites, sort of. Uh, there's pick some. one. I can't. I can't one. choose one. Um, you gotta pick one. You gotta oh, pick one. Oh, no. You gotta pick one. Do it for Puerto Rico. Or I, or I'm kicked off the island. Um, let's see. What is my all-time favorite? I'm... Well, the one you're most proud of is the comedian. Yeah. Because that armor is insane. Yeah, the armor was a struggle for me, and it, it was such a headache. So I would say I did, a fe I did a female version of the comedian, and that one is pretty special to me. It's just really tough to wear. I, it's so painful. It's a lot of costumes, um, bringing it from 2D to a real-life um, design is, is crazy. It's like I will make the suit of armor. I'm like, how do people actually wear this? Oh, it's just the comics. Uh, well, I, I love being Nightwing, like, because I, I played him on a, my YouTube series, Young Justice Abduction, so I love being that character. I, I feel like I understand him better, but tomorrow I'm doing the blur from Smallville, so I'm super excited for that. I think that might be my new favorite. It's really comfortable. Test, test. Am I good? Hello? It just sounds so quiet. I think Nicole's just louder. Hello. Okay. Hello. Again, welcome to Rico Comic Con, and uh, to you, sir, welcome to the world of cosplay. Hey, thank you. Thanks for the welcome. Welcome, welcome. little cosplay baby. <laughs> Apprentice. Um, let's see. Um, how did you first, like, how did you get into the world, how did you get into cosplaying? Like, what was your first cosplay, the first cosplay that you guys did? and how you got into that. Well, in 2010, I went to my first convention. That's where I discovered cosplay. I thought it was like magical. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. The, what's the name of the convention? Uh, Granite State Comic Con in okay. New Hampshire. Okay. And I saw a couple cosplaying, and it, I saw... Sorry, um, 
I saw um, somebody dressed up as Joker, and he had a Harley and a Poison Ivy with him, and they were so cool. I'm like, I want to do that. Why not me? So the next year, I went to the same convention, so 2011, and I had just recently seen Suck uh, Sucker Punch, and Sucker Punch. I loved Baby Doll. I loved the character. So I went and modified a, uh, a jacket and a skirt and a sword and everything like that, and I cosplayed as Baby Doll. And I just, I was addicted immediately. Nice. And for me, uh, I started doing this web series and I went from Robin to Nightwing, but my first costume that I had was Nightwing. So it was WonderCon 2013. <coughs> I remember I bought like a, a Batman mask at Target and cut it up into a Nightwing mask and had like some tights. It was very makeshift Nightwing suit because I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to do it. And so I suited up and went to WonderCon and I had an absolute blast. Like anyone that came up to me for a picture, I'd give them a card, like, hey, check out our web series. And then just from there, I was like, I want more costumes. So I started getting more than after I met Nicole and we started working together and everything, we I, I was like I was like, I definitely want to to dive more into this and we're like for each con I go, I want something new, you know, so we're planning out what we want to do next, but my first experience was Nightwing WonderCon 2013, and it was just a blast, especially since I put the costume together in just a, a week, and I've never looked back, just trying to upgrade it more and more. It's an addiction. <laughs> I can it's a one. wonderful addiction. It's a wonderful addiction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, if you could only cosplay, cosplay as one character for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. Namor. Cool. <laughs> Namor forever, because he's such a ladies' man. Oh my god, I love him. So you just uh, wear green underwear for the rest of your no, life? No, that, yeah, I don't know if that would really work in, in public. Um, <laughs> I've cosplayed as Namor twice, Phoenix Five Namor, and then his uh, version with like the black vest and everything like that. So I, there are appropriate versions that I could wear. Right. But I love Namor, he's my favorite comic book character, and I love cosplaying as him. He's so suave, and he's a powerhouse. So do you mean like just that character, but there's different versions, or just one costume of that character? That's kind of cheating, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being complicated? I'm just wondering. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'll follow up with my impossible question. I'd be down to be in that flash suit for the rest of my life. <laughs> just <laughs> running <laughs> everywhere. I'd, I'd probably just eat lunch in it and go to work in it. It'd be great. And on the opposite spectrum, what character would just never do, would never be caught dead doing? Flash. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, he knows this though. I gotta go, you guys. <laughs> well, I had two questions. The first one's kind of a joke. Who do you think's a better cosplayer, Jessica Negri or Yaya Han? Oh no. Oh, oh I can't do that. Someone is filming this right now. Let's get ready to rumble. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. No. We have a chance of making this video go viral though. Yeah. You should answer it. You should answer it. You should answer it. Don't look at me. I don't know. I'm new to this. <laughs> Colin Bass. That's what, no, I, I can't. I can't say that. Everyone is special and has their own strengths in their own way. <laughs> Everyone is special in their own way. They're both great people and great cosplayers. Yes. Okay. Well, the second question was: If you could cosplay anyone from any anime or comic book series that you have not cosplayed before, who would you cosplay? <laughs> Am I getting boring here? The Flash. Oh man, uh, are, you, are you guys familiar with Power Rangers? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know Dino Thunder? Yes. Yeah. Red Dino Thunder Power Ranger. That would be that would be my first choice. I would love to do that. My favorite ranger. I have no idea. It's like <laughs> there's tons. She has a whole list. I do. I have a list. Of all these characters. There's one I'm really excited about. I want to do Rhino. Nice. Sinister Six. That's oh, going to be... Girl, I'm going to be a female Rhino. If you were to cosplay... My first... Okay, my first question is... If you were to cosplay... Any Disney character... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kind of a big Disney fan. If you were to cosplay any Disney fan character... 
character, who would you cosplay as, and if you cosplay it, would you sing just like the main character? And my second question, my second question, um... He said two, Why don't we get to the Disney question first? Yeah, you. let's get to the Disney question first. Yeah. I've done a, a handful of Disney characters and now. And she sings a song. She gets pumped by listening to the soundtrack. Yeah. Um, I've cosplayed as Aladdin before. I've cosplayed as Ariel, Aurora. I've done Prince Eric, right? He was Prince Eric. It was easy. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was whatever. What, which character would you do, though? See, here's the problem. Stitch. You would be like Stitch. <laughs> no, you, go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah. <laughs> have you guys seen that Disney movie with Flash? Um, yeah. No, well, Nicole and I, we go to Disneyland all the time. We're from San Diego, California, so we go to Disney as much as we possibly can. And I have this weird thing where I love Disneyland, I love Disney, but I cannot for the life of me pick like a Disney movie that I genuinely love, like like I have a passion for, you know? So, and that's not saying anything's wrong with them. I, I, I love them and I watch them and they're, I grew up with them, they're great, but I, she sees an aerial thing and she's like, oh, look at this aerial thing. And I'm like, oh, there's Woody and Buzz. That's, that's cool, I really like this, but I can't say there's a character that I really want to do, and that's why she did the Stitch joke, because Stitch is my favorite Disney character. The I, little alien guy that doesn't sing at all. I think you should do uh, Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty, because he's, look at how charming he is. I'll, I'll charm you, Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Uh, let's see, I, don't, I have no idea what character. Does Jack, my answer how, count? Can I be Stitch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, probably Jasmine. I just can't figure out that hair, and it would probably give me a headache. This gives me a headache, as it is. But that hair. That's kind of Jasmine hair. Oh, no, her hair is, there's, it's like it's five of these. Yeah, Jasmine. I like but I would want to, like, ride into the convention on Raja, so the tiger. So, I don't know if that so would work. Jasmine so, Jasmine and Stitch are the answers. On top, riding on a tiger into the convention. On a magic carpet. On a magic carpet. I, I noticed that you both are actual comic book fans, and oh, yeah. cosplay has become so popular in the last five years. Does it make you glad, or does it bother you that it's actually becoming uh, a bona fide a modeling pro job that you see actual models cosplaying, not because maybe they're a fan, or because, uh, just because it's, a, it's an actual job. So does it that bother you, or does it actually make you glad because the whole thing is becoming mainstream. Well, it is, I mean, you find models for any kind of convention, car shows and everything like that. So, you know, stuff like that is bound to happen. Um, it is a little weird to me because I remember growing up and liking this stuff wasn't cool. I had no friends. Uh, I was obsessed with Star Wars and nobody liked Star Wars. It wasn't cool. Guys thought I was weird. Girls were like, you're gross. And um, I still love comic books. I loved um, sci-fi and everything like that. So the fact that comics, comic conventions are big and comics are cool now is just mind-blowing to me. So that's all. Everything's brand new to me. See, for me, I, I was kind of a, a secret nerd growing up. I was total jock high school. That, that dude that you're just like, oh. He's the one who would shove us all in closets. I was or, not a like, bully. lockers and stuff. I wasn't a bully. I was like the quarterback and stuff. I, I basically... What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, no. He's the one that beat us all up because we like comics. I was the jock. That's and what you I was. were one of us hold it. No, I was. See, here's... But this is why I bring it up, because at our football meetings, we would like eat dinner, talk about the next game and stuff. I would sneak off to the side room and watch Smallville every Thursday night at eight because I was I was still a diehard fan for comics. So I'd like keep this whole side of me secret. And now I feel like you brought up in the past five years, it's this big uh, worldwide phenomenon where just everyone's kind of like, yeah, you know, I do like Batman. Oh, I do like Iron Man. And I feel in like deep down, I don't really say this very often. I feel it's a big giant I told you so for the past <laughs> my whole life. I, I was wearing Robin costumes just around the neighborhood and people would be like, why is that kid wearing Robin costumes when I was a little kid? And then I was doing these superhero web series and no one was ever really like, hey, good for you doing that, you, good job. It's more like, why are you doing these things? And now it's worldwide popular and they're like, Oh, so Colin wasn't crazy for 24 years, you know? So I, I appreciate it. I do see what you're saying, but I think I see it as uh, definitely a positive thing. 
So, what's the biggest bis misconception you have uh, faced in your cosplay career about cosplay and you personally, your own experiences? I guess that it's easy, that it's just posing. Oh, yeah, people are like, I, I love your life, it's just posing. Yeah, like, well, traveling and posing. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Uh, the costumes are blood, sweat, and tears, and I'm up for like 18 hours a day, like working on one costume, like throughout the entire week. And I mean, I love doing this because I'm an artist, so that's my passion, but it's, I don't just jump inside my closet and pop out in a suit of armor. <laughs> There's a little more to that. I always say I wish I could just do the Iron Man suit, like with my Nightwing suit, be like, and everything come on piece by piece and then go to the con. Like, every time I wish it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it honestly, it, it looks easy. When I didn't cosplay, I was like, that dude just looks awesome and people are taking his picture. Good on you, you know, like that lucky dude. And then once I got into it, I, I mean, I am not saying I work even 2% as hard as Nicole does. She, she built something out of nothing. I just kind of piece things together and I'm learning more and more. But I think that uh, a lot of people just think it's the, especially for Nicole and her like status in the cosplay world, it's like, oh yeah, people fly her out to these conventions, she just sits there and looks pretty. No, there's hundreds of pounds to carry around of armor and prints and everything. And we're, I mean, conventions are great, they help us out, but a lot of the time we're on our own getting stuff together and uh, working with uh, the fans and the customers and everything like that. And it's a little hectic on the email scheduling. Lots of things go wrong. I mean, it's still great and so much fun and I love it, but it's just not as easy as everyone thinks it is. Another thing, um, as a female that cosplays, uh, people uh, question your knowledge of comic books and everything like that. Are you a real geek or are you just a model? I am so awkward behind the camera. I am not a model. I actually love this stuff and that's why I dress up. I'm not going to put 100 plus hours into a character I know nothing about or feel no passion for. So I, I, that's one of the you know, things we have to deal with as females. Do you really like comics or are you just dressing like that for attention? I want to ask you, what would you cosplay for a video game? What would you like to cosplay? Not the Flash. <laughs> no. I'm trying not to answer that. Yeah, no, yeah. Check it out. Um, I want to do more Mortal Kombat costumes. I've already done Shao Kahn. I mean, I've been boss man, so Shao Kahn's pretty cool. Can't really I've, go up from there. Yeah. Um, I have cosplayed as Frost as well. Um, so there's there's a few characters that I want to do, the more lesser known, um, more Final Fantasy characters. I've done Vincent Valentine. I love Vincent Valentine. I want to do Sephiroth. That is a dream cosplay for me because he's so feminine. So I think I could pull it off. He's got the feminine swag. That giant but tiny sword. Yeah, I think it's six. It's like six feet or something. Yeah, I'll just put it on the plane. No problem. Look at his hair. I know. I know that's going to get like tangled. People are going to be trapped inside of it. No Sephiroth. Man, for me. I'm trying to think of what games I really love. I really love Skyrim. That would be really cool to do like a... a oh. What is this guy gonna do? I think this crowd might like me a little bit, Nicole. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd love to do like some Skyrim armor. That'd be awesome. First thing, uh, Assassin's Creed would be super cool yeah. too. I'd love that. <laughs> yeah, no girl, that's right. If, if um, you want to do Skyrim, you should do the Daedric armor. Oh yeah, Daedric armor's sick. That's a challenge accepted right there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, I also, you guys ever play Destiny? Yes. Whoop. Destiny yes. is sick, and I would love to do uh, one of the uh, hunter armors. I think that'd, that'd be the best. No, you don't like that. Thank you. No. Uh, and then other than that, I guess I'm just looking for Princess more... Peach. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Nicole. <laughs> Maybe in. Private time. <laughs> um, I got two questions for the both of you. Uh, first question: Of all the cosplays you guys have made, which one would you consider your most challenging? And my second question is: What's your favorite um, comic book movie? Ooh. Oh no. What was, I, what was the first question? The our our costume most challenging. Movie? Most challenging. A most challenging cosplay. Uh, See, Nicole's kind of the one that talked about it. Mine aren't very challenging. I just kind of put things together. I, um, Can I say all of mine? There's all of always, hers. There's always a piece 
or multiple pieces of a costume that are challenging. I have to test my own skills and learn new things with each cosplay. So, um, like I was saying before, bringing a 2D image and making it real life, that's just difficult in its own. And working with different materials, so they're all pretty challenging. I've cried and I've bled for so many of them. Yeah, I help her sand some of her armor and stuff, and I get very frustrated, and I'm just sanding her He goes painting. like this, and he's like, done. No. <laughs> no, that's not what happens. I'm like, I start getting too agitated. I'm like, is this good? And she's like, he's like you sanded burned through the through whole gesso. my armor before. He's like, I'll help you meet the deadline, and he sanded like through it. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I don't know. I haven't really like worked on anything too much on my costume. It's been just spray painting, piecing things together. I don't make it from like scratch like Nicole does, but. So I think I'm going to opt out of the first question, but I'll gladly answer your second question. My favorite comic book movie, Dark Knight. It's my yeah. favorite one. Woo, woo. Woo. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you. Is this Nicole's panel or yeah. my panel? <laughs> this is a tough question because I am not really a fan of comic book movies because I'm kind of a comic book snob. snob. Same with Star Wars. I don't like the prequels. I'm kind of a snob. Same thing here. <laughs> so um, I know that comic book movies, I like them for entertainment purposes, but um, I love all these characters. And when they're brought to a movie, everything is twisted. Mm -hmm. There's background stories, the plots. It's just, you have to go into it as just seeing it as entertainment, not necessarily as a, as a fan for most of the movies. Well, my theory for it is like, you know, there's those Else Worlds or Secret Origins or Earth One comic books. I just pretend when I go into these comic book movies that it's a different universe, and then my feelings aren't hurt, or nothing's like, I don't feel betrayed or anything. <laughs> I try to tell Nicole to do that, just pretend it's like a brand new comic book that's not what we know and love, you know, just pretend it's something completely different. I see them all, though. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and since you were here in Puerto Rico, I suggest you try and eat mofongo. <laughs> it's a really good food here. You know. Mofongo? Yeah, it's called Mofongo. Hey, we want all your Puerto Rico suggestions, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, try Mofongo. Okay. okay. You will love it. Where, where can we get... Is this a trick? Anywhere! Oh, God, what is Someone it? Someone get us Mofongo! <laughs> what is that? Okay, so hi. Hi. Um, welcome, and my question is for both of you guys, and it's... Whenever you're preparing for a cosplay, what's your favorite method to prepare it? Do you like to get something store-bought and then customize it, or do you like to start from scratch? Like, which one do you find more worth it? I like to start from scratch, um, because that's where my passion is, the creativity. And um, I'm an artist, so that's I'm happy being able to take a pile of just materials and turning it into something and I feel like I'm a canvas for my own art so that's what cosplay is to me. I'm more of a store-bought guy. Um, I like Reppin Reeves effects a lot. He's a good friend of mine and really talented guy. He made my Nightwing mask, this red hood uh, helmet, and this red hood chest and I most, most if not all of my cosplays have some Reeves effects thing in. If not I do do store-bought and then I tweak it to make it look a little more legit but uh, I'm always willing to learn and grow, you know, trying to get some new methods of doing things, but... My question is really, really simple. Uh, you mentioned something about Gundam. Uh, which type of Gundam will you attempt to cosplay someday in the um, future? Wing Zero from Wing Gundam Zero? Wing Mobile Suit. <laughs> what? Yes! yes! Oh my god! <laughs> so three people. I had the whole half of the crowd going. I love Hero Yui, so... Uh, what about uh, you, if you ever watch the Gundam series or anything like that? I'm going to go with Wing Zero Gundam. Go Wing Zero! Uh, number one. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I don't remember Gundam. I did watch it as a kid on Cartoon Network. Which has been the most uncomfortable cosplay you ever wear? It's just you want to get home and take it off. Comedian is... Digs into her sides. Yeah, I actually have to, like... I've taken the armor off and crawled into a hot bath with my clothes still on because I'm just like, oh my gosh. It's just, it's, it's tough. I and can't I have to really like pull her out of the bathtub. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> She's okay. Um, I'm going to go with... 
I really don't like wearing Robin. I feel like I'm too big and old for Robin. <laughs> I just, I, I, like, it's my size. It's like a mental, like, uh, uncomfortable. Like, like Robin the boy wonder? I'm 24 years old, come on. So, and also, uh, it's, it's, it's really tight on, on all of my body, and, uh, it's all, yeah, I didn't want to say that. Yeah, it's, it's tight in all the wrong places, let's say that. And, um, yeah, I, I, I haven't worn it in like a year because I just... I took it away from him. She hid it from me. She doesn't like me in it. So I think Robin's cool, but that particular... Oh, I'm sorry, okay. what? You think Robin's cool? Yeah, but yes. that... Okay. But that particular one was, was scary. Yeah. I like how you guys keep bringing up the flash. <laughs> you, might, you might win her over. I noticed, uh, like we said before, that cosplay has become really popular worldwide. And I actually noticed that uh, w um, once it happened that cosplay got so popular, comic book movies and TV series actually got comic -y. Like the, the kind of dresser, like for example, in Arrow and the Flash, like they actually got the colorful uh, uh, costume. Suits? Uh, suits, thank you. Do you see the correlation, or, or maybe I'm wrong, or maybe... I, I actually think that's... So, do you feel part of that process? Yeah, I actually got into this discussion. I work for Ruby's Costume Company, so we deal with costumes all the time, and uh, I got into this discussion with our graphic designer guy, like, what really set off this huge movement of comic books and conventions and everything? And I think it was Iron Man 1 that really got things like... They're like, oh, that, that was a straight-up superhero in a superhero movie, Let's try all of these different movies and TV shows, and that's when things like really started uh, picking up, which is why like shows and movies before, like uh, I don't know, Daredevil or Smallville, like all these things were never really that big of hits because it just there wasn't anything done perfectly correct. Like you could argue that Spider-Man was a big movement too, because back in 2001 people started believing in it more. But I feel like Iron Man one it just made people really want to embrace the culture, and so from there I think that that. Once Iron Man 1 came out, things just started snowballing, and they're like, okay, Iron Man 1's good, let's do Captain America. Okay, let's cosplay as this character, because we like this movie. And then things just started getting bigger and bigger, more characters to choose from, and, more, if, and those movies are basing themselves more off comic books, because those got more popular as well. So to answer your question, yes, absolutely, I believe they definitely correlate together. What's the weirdest reaction? Oh, well, sorry. She I said what? With me. Yeah, I'm just agreeing. Like, yes. I, I'm yeah, very I believe it was. I, about this. I believe it was Iron Man as well. We didn't really see it um, with the, you know, the original Batman movies. We didn't see anything else take off from there. And then Spider Man, we didn't really see anything take off until um, Iron Man. I mean, we had the X Men movies, but and nothing really spiraled. Yeah. Now Iron Man is like connecting with the other movies. Because I still remember in like 2007, I was at San Diego Comic Con, and I was still like. I'd be, they're like, where are you going? My friends are like, where are you going, Colin? I'm like, San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing there? And then sure enough, once uh, once Iron Man One came out, they're like, oh, you're going to Comic Con? Like they just wanted to do it, even though I've been doing it for a while. Long live our DJ. Yeah. <laughs> What's the weirdest reaction you ever had from a fan because of the cosplay you were wearing that time? Like maybe they hate the character, maybe they love the character. Weirdest is good, weird, and bad, weird, right? Yes. Sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you know, Nightwing is like him, not me. Is kind of like a ladies' man. So I, I, I've gotten some very friendly reactions from girls <laughs> when I've been Nightwing. Like, oh my God, it's Nightwing, and then they kind of like jump up and down. And I'm like, hi, you know. So that that was that's good, good, weird. Um, Bad weird, I was, again, I was Nightwing, and I'm next to this Riddler, and he keeps giving me riddles during a photo shoot. And I'm like, stop, dude, I'm so tired. Like, conventions, I love them, but they wear you down, especially if you want to go out and party at night. So I'm there the next day at, at a photo shoot, and I'm this night, and I'm like, you gotta like flex hard so you look like as buff as possible. And I'm like, and then they're taking pictures, and he goes, riddle me this, Nightwing, and I'm just like, I'm like, dude, can you please stop? He's like, no, oh, bird boy can't keep up. And I'm like, I'm not in character. Stop it. So those are, that's my good, weird, and bad, weird. I can't think of anything. So one time, Nicole was not. No, I, I can't think of anything. 
Well, I get all the ladies when I'm Namor, so I mean, that's a good, that's a real good reaction, right? That's, yeah. That's not good, weird, that's just good. That's just, that's just good. So that's probably the best one. Go on. <laughs> so, this one time when I was Namor. So then she had ladies. 10 girlfriends. She didn't know what to do with them. I stole all these wives and girlfriends. All the gents. That's no, true. Every time I'm Namor. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Calling, um, not a question, a suggestion. If you're so into Nightwing, uh, TNT Network is, is working on a, a, comic, a series with DC Comics that, and they're looking for a Nightwing, you should uh, you know, audition for the role of Nightwing. Thank you. Know you know yeah, so, um, there was actually like a, a like promo picture that yep. went up online of yep. like this guy that wants to be Nightwing and he's just in like a t-shirt and like a, a Robin mask and, and it went it went everywhere all over the place and I, and I was like, that dude is not the real Nightwing and I like was leaving comments saying, that's not him, I'm sorry, it's just not. And so I went to his Instagram profile and I was like, dude, you're tricking everyone, everyone thinks you're the new Nightwing. Homie blocked me and removed my comment. <laughs> So he like wants to trick the whole world that he's the new Nightwing. So then I hit up my graphic designer friend, his name's David. He's actually, he lives in Puerto Rico, really cool guy. Uh, and, and yeah, Sky Knight Designs, he's, look him up, he's awesome. And I, was, I told him the story and he was like, hold on. So then he made a Teen Titans promo picture with me on it as Nightwing and I shared it and I was like, there's a fake picture going around. So I made, I, I'm gonna make a fake one too. And so it's really awesome. Nicole, um, it's, um, I know, I'm pretty sure nobody here is going to understand what, I'm, what the question could be about, but uh, and I'm pretty sure nobody here subscribed to Nerve Block, Nerve Block of me. How did the whole Nerve Play concept came about, the, the, the turning cards concept? How did that happen? Yeah, um, happen? I just con got contacted one day from Nerd Block, and they wanted to incorporate cosplayers because we're such a big part of comic conventions, and we basically dress up as all the comic book heroes and villains, and um, they just wanted us to get involved with it, and they thought, you know, doing the trading cards would be an awesome way to show up cosplay and some, okay. something fun. So I see a lot of people bringing the trading cards to conventions and stuff, just like that one. So yeah, yeah they just wanted to make something fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt for cosplayers. <laughs> I have a question and a suggestion. The suggestion is, if you like Flash so much, you should go at Reverse Flash one day. Go as the reverse flash? Yes. Oh, dang. All right. I'm not a big yellow guy, but uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> the question is, is for both of you. If you could go as any Dragon Ball Z character, which would it be? I'll help you out with this. Bulma. Right? You don't want to be Bulma. <laughs> Do you? No. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a really badass Dragon Ball Z girl. Just you should just be a dude since you dress up as I dudes know. all the time. I always dress up as dudes. <laughs> okay, I really like... Um, Specifically, future trunks in the Saiyan armor. That would, that's what I would like to do. And uh, but I'm also a huge fan of Teen Gohan when he goes Super Saiyan 2 for the first time, and then that makes him in the Namekian clothes. So that's Piccolo's awesome too. So, but I couldn't do Piccolo. I wouldn't want to be green. I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, future trunks in the Saiyan armor. That's, that'd be my choice. It's gonna be adorable Bulma in her bunny suit. It's because that's all you know. <laughs> we got one last one. Oh, it's already over? It's a serious -ish question, too, so it's gonna end on a downer. Um, you guys have been doing this professionally for so long. What are some things regarding sexual harassment that you guys have seen, and what are things that cosplayers and attendees and conferences can do to minimize and possibly erase it from its entirety. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> um, I've never had to deal with it myself, probably because I'm like 6'1 in my costumes and I'm like taller than most men. Um, but <laughs> um, I've never had to deal with it personally. Um, but Guys I, try I, to smooch you though. Huh? Guys try to smooch you. Not on the mouth. What about that dude in the towel from that one con? Didn't he try to kiss you? What? <laughs> what? I remember this. What? I was a jealous what? boyfriend. I was like, oh. who's that guy? There was once a man in a you know. towel at a convention. Yeah, he was only wearing a towel. It's a real story. 
I don't know. I'm not making this up, Puerto Rico. He might, he might be. He might be, but I've, I've never really had to deal with any sexual harassment, but I've heard about it, and just be respectful of others, and like the whole saying, uh, cosplay is not consent, it's just, don't be a jerk. Yeah, uh, I've never dealt with anything in real life. It's, uh, I get like some weird messages and weird comments, but uh, I've been lucky that nothing's happened. Well, you can't top my weird online. No, she gets some But in person, comments. I don't get it. No, there, people just aren't as uh, forward or brave, but there's, the, I think for conventions, as long as uh, I see, like at Star Wars Celebration, there's signs saying, cosplay's not content, don't do this, don't do that, so signs are very helpful, and I think just all of us trying to be better people will really help a lot. Let's just be friends. Yes.